G'day scrappers, thought I'd have a little bit of fun today, scrap out some PCs and uh, do a little bit of a challenge, how many PCs I can actually scrap out in one hour. So I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. I've got a st stack of PCs I need to get through today anyway, so this might be a good opportunity to get all that done. Um, so I'm going to set the clock for one hour. And I'm just going to keep going until uh, that one hour is over and see how many we've got done. Uh, the only thing is, I'm not sure if the actual battery in the camera is going to last one hour. So I might have to do a quick battery change. Other than that, it should be uh, all good to go. Clock started. So it's just basically going to be a, you know, it's a quick scrap. It's not going to be a detailed scrap, like, for instance, cutting off these cords or anything like that. It's, it's just going to be straight, straight out scrapping. Okay. One motherboard. The whole thing is all Torx screws and there's uh, the fan is the only thing. That's one. Probably a little bit lucky that these power supply units, they don't have screws, they're just mounted in. the copper aluminium heat sink
might actually be quicker to change the Torx bit into a Phillips Ram, bonus ram.
Ah, I didn't realise I had a different model. Top open. A little bit different. Cables in a little bit different positions. Didn't want to come out. Nice. Undid the wrong fan. Got a hard drive in that. Another bonus.
Go check how much the battery is going. Should still have a bit. So far it looks like uh, just under 26 minutes. I don't think I'm going to have enough PCs here guys. Uh, I didn't think uh, some of these were going to be so quick. I might have to pause and go and get some more PCs from the driveway. Finally got a sock hard. These PCs are from a school, so there's not much need for slot cards at schools.
Okay. Some bigger ones. I don't want the fans on these because they're only cheap and they're only very lightweight. So. Cheap, um, cheap brand of uh, computer these, very generic. These ones are probably a little bit too easy. Um, at least they've got slot cards. But there's just not a lot to them, you know.
Well, I've still got over 20 minutes to go. Um, I'm just going to have to pause and go and get a few more PCs. We're off again. Too big for the camera. Should be right. Ah, wrong side.
this one's a little bit different. I've got to actually cut the power supply out to get the wire from the outside the other end. Floppy. All I do with floppy drives is just remove the uh, gold pin, leave it, no value. Hey, we've got a copper stacker. Finally.
well I'm getting tired now I can tell you just going one hour virtually straight um, even in between a little bit longer because I had to go and get the PCs and carry them all back so I could go and get some more PCs um, but it looks like there's just on five minutes left so I think I'm just going to slow down on this one and I think I've done enough because if I went really fast I uh, kept going on maybe I'll get one more done but I don't think one more is going to make much difference anyway Probably going to cost me more time anyway to get this wire out. <laughs> but reasonably fast pace, you know. Um, I didn't, you know, go like crazy, but just fast enough, like non stop. So I think we've got quite a few done actually, um, more than I, I expected. I suppose if you added, um, you know, like cleaning up the wires and all that, you know, still got to clean up the fans and all that kind of thing, basically. all I do take out the fan heat sink rubbish you know there's stuff like that if you really want to and you know I even clean up the fans turn them into just so they just just look like motors Nice clean. Okay. Well, I've still got just under three minutes left. But by the time, you know, I might get one more done, no doubt. But, um, whew. I'll call it, I'll call it an hour. Okay, coming on to one hour, so I'm going to call that an hour. I mean, as far as um, um, doing this, like, say if you paid someone and uh, or you're calculating per hour, sure, you're going to get, you know, pretty good rate going at that rate. But, um, geez. That's for one hour, but what about the second hour? You know, <laughs> you'd have to go and, you know, have a sleep for, uh, <laughs> you know, at least half an hour rest to be able to start again and, and work at that pace, you know. Um, you know, oh, maybe some people might be able to continue to work, but see, so we still got to do these um, DVDs, you know. Uh, normally, when I'm taking it easy, scrapping out really slow, you know, I might take 
you know anything up up to 10 minutes to do a PC because I'm not in any rush so you know I'll do all this and scrap out most of the DVDs even those these ones they're not very good they don't have very good boards so you got a little IC chip there and another one here so there's nothing really on them you know um, and, you know obviously I take out the wire the um, copper or sorry brass bit there I don't worry about this little motor normally you know everything is just time consuming I do take this motor always get that motor there um, I just don't have any monkey things I normally pop that out you know uh, you can also take out this little thing here there's a little bit of gold in some of them, a little some fine gold bonding wire. Um, otherwise, you can just throw them into transformer. Well, that's all the uh, DVDs. So I'm going to process all them slowly when I've got a uh, spare few minutes. I've I've done more PCs than I expected to do today, so it's really good. Um, got a lot out. But as I've mentioned before, I don't throw these PCs straight into scrap metal. Um, first, as I'm scrapping out these DVDs, I use the towers to throw all the rubbish in. And also, you know, I've got buckets of screws and all the little mixed, you know, scrap out telephones, all the little bits and pieces. Well, that all goes into the towers before I send them off to scrap uh, scrap metal um, so that's all all the towers that I did there um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 30! <laughs> wow! I didn't expect to get 30 done in one hour what's that 30? that's one every two minutes Oh, well, that, I, I thought maybe one every three minutes, considering uh, some of them were smaller and they're easier. So these ones, I, I think I got through really quickly, a lot quicker than expected because, you know, there's less screws. Um, like, you don't have to undo the power supply unit. Um, you know, they just sort of tilt out, pop out. So that would have saved me quite a lot of time. Um, and some of these PCs, you know, a lot of them didn't have slot cards so that you know it's just an extra thing not to have to do got um the bin here with uh power supply units and stuff i was just throwing them in um some motherboards in there most of the motherboards i ended up throwing into this bin so i've almost filled this bin up also through the uh more power supply units so obviously i've still got uh, quite a few things to do on on the motherboard or a couple of things I've still got to get rid of the battery you know providing you know if I'm going to sell them which you know motherboards I do and I still got to take out obviously the CPU I check out the CPU I can see that it's just uh, one of the common versions so um, it's not an i3 or an i4 but uh, sorry i3 i7 i5 anything like that obviously I'd sell it um, motherboards just go scrap uh, looks like there's one good one here. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got an I something. So you see how that's... It just looks different straight away, you can tell, you see. Um, completely different CPUs. So when I see that, I know that mo nine, 99 times out of 100, they're not going to be very good. Whereas these ones, most likely they're going to be... Uh, they're all going to be good, so 99 times out of 100, these ones are worth selling. And so when you turn it over, obviously that's what they look like. Um, the motherboard itself, yeah, I'm not into selling motherboards because I can't really test them out. Um, okay, so, so this one's an i5. So this one's actually a really good one. Um, I don't know anywhere else in the world, but here in Australia, i5s sell really good, better than i7s. Um, not not better money, but just quicker. 
a lot more people are looking for the i5s so I'll just keep that that's easy to sell might get uh, 30 bucks for that um, the motherboard uh, yeah again as I said I don't really keep motherboards and stuff you know sometimes if I get a whole bunch of these well because it's the i5 I can keep this aside um, and just give it to uh, a friend that uh, that likes to fix up PCs and stuff and see if it works if not he'll just give me back the uh, motherboard he usually gives me all his uh, uh, broken motherboards and stuff or obsolete all right well guys that was it that was the one th one hour PC scrap challenge um, just for a bit of fun just to see how many I could actually do in one hour um, I wasn't sure myself so well 30 PCs in one hour that's you know I, I didn't expect I thought about maybe 20 if I went really hard because of the easier ones so I surprised myself and yeah that's one every two minutes that's that's insane but yeah you know I certainly wouldn't be able to keep that up you know um, you know you'd need half an hour breaks in between every hour but probably not even like you are probably better off doing like half an hour flat out 10 minute break and then you know half an hour flat out again and keep going like that so it can be done um, one PC every two minutes just depends on how like you know the power supply units depends on how you sell them you know whether you uh, try to um, sell them as power supply units or whether you're you sell them as scrap power supply units um, for me as scrap I cut the cords just sell the units as they are and sell the cord and, and you still have to uh, obviously clean up all these plugs so and these SATA plugs are the only ones that I kind of keep because obviously they've got a little bit of gold pins but it's nothing spectacular you need a lot of these to get some gold but still it's gold as up but the rest like these white ones here in Australia we've got to cut these off at most scrapyards some scrapyards still accept it um, all, all scrapyards will accept them if you're prepared to sell them as low grade but to get mid grade we, we've got to cut these plugs now and uh, yeah as I said with the fans I clean up the fans get the little motor out get the wire so there is you know still a, quite a bit of work to go um, yeah that's for sure and yeah with all those DVDs scrap out every one of them fill up those towers and yeah so there we go got some average um, slot cards like these slot cards here there's nothing oops there's nothing on the actual slot card itself really just you know one flat pack chip underneath that heat sink so um, because of the size it's only small and quite a lot of fingers I prefer to take these fingers off cut them off and then sell the rest as a mid-grade board um, or in the States a peripheral board so this one here that might be okay I might show this to a, a, a friend if he sort of wants something like this but otherwise you know, same as the hard drive these are what 80 gigs 80 gigs are finished Three, um, even 500 gig hard drives are finished nowadays as well here anyway you know it's obviously different everywhere yeah so I still get a lot of uh, boards these little boards not much these days the old um, DVD boards you know had better gold pins and just better chips all around better board so um, these ones these days that's just base base mid-grade no value really all right guys well hope that was a bit of fun for you um, it was uh, kind of fun for me it was more hard work than fun but, but um, I was really interested to know what I could sort of do in, in an hour and this gives me a basic idea anyway you know it's not always going to be like that you know nah, the next batch of PCs I do might only might only get you know 15 done in an hour so uh, but um, yeah 30 PCs one hour pretty happy with that 
All right, guys. Well, if you've got any other challenges you want me to uh, try out, um, let us know in the comments below, and uh, I'll see if I can um, do some other wacky challenges. I've actually got a stack of 10 servers here, and um, that's going to be uh, for a um, scrap time trial. Um, see how long it takes me to do 10, 10 um, identical servers. And I've got a few other things uh, going at the moment, scrapping a lot of different stuff. Been um, doing quite a lot of mobile phones, cell phones at the moment. And uh, I've just got so many more, I've just got too many cell phones I'm trying to get rid of. So I might even do a video on cell phones next up. Alright guys, well keep scrapping, have fun. 30 PCs in one hour, scrapped out. I'll catch you next time.